So, welcome, Alex, to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. Uh, I will tell you, we are laughing right now because we have already been talking for a bit and I <laughs> forgot to press the record button. So we will do, do it again. Uh, you Absolutely. Have a, you have over 1,300 videos? Yes. Around there. And uh, how did you yeah. get started with all of this? Yeah. So I'm going to bore you because you just... <laughs> but, oh, no, it's uh, not boring. So... Let's see, before my YouTube journey started, I, I was a huge fan of YouTube content, right? I, I'm not necessarily the party type of dude. I don't really go out and party. I didn't really go watch movies, watch TV. But what, what I found myself doing whenever I came home from the day is I, I would always watch YouTube videos. Um, the two types of content that I predominantly watched were vlogs like Roman Atwood, Casey Neistat, um, Tanner Fox. Uh, and, and just other content creators like that. And I just kind of fell in love with that idea and really wanted my life to be me filming vlogs every day. I thought that would be incredible. So I started down that road, um, creating three vlogs a week. It's pretty tough actually. And, you know, came to the realization that these videos aren't doing well. They're getting five, six, seven views. And it's, it's about having fun when you create content, but us content creators, you know, just as well as I do, that we, we want views, we want subscribers, we want to be noticed for the hard work, right? Yeah. Um, and I, I quickly found that one, people didn't necessarily know who I was, and people didn't frankly care what I'm doing on my day to day. So I, I sat down with myself and I was like, I need to give people a reason to be interested in myself. And one of the other types of content that I watched were reactions, right? Like, Lost in Vegas, Zeus, um, a bunch of other different reaction channels. And I was, I didn't really find the type of video that I like to watch, right? I, I was really intrigued by a lot of them. Um, but, you know, my type of content is the videos that I would want to watch. So if you want to know what I'm interested in, you watch my video. And I didn't see too many of that type of video online. Um, so, you know, my first love was rap. I didn't pay any attention to rock or heavy metal. So I started coming out with rap reactions and they were getting a little bit of traction. And as I started reading the comments and creating a community of my uh, peers, right? They, I started reading the comments and seeing what people were asking for. So I, I kind of branched out a little bit to K-pop, right? Korean pop. And, and that video actually did really well. I think it was my most viewed video at the time with about 13, 14,000 views on it. And I was like, holy shit, this is, this is crazy. People like that outside perspective. Um, and then I read a comment that was, you should check out some heavy metal. And I was like, uh, okay. You know, like I, I was honestly freaked out because I, I knew big bands like Slipknot with, you know, dudes with spikes coming out of their face and, and everybody wearing a mask and it looked like a horror movie. And I was like, this is definitely not the music that I would want to listen to, but I'll give it a chance. And worst case scenario, it does terribly. And I either delete the video or never go back to it again. Um, and I, I think I really got lucky, man, because I, I titled the video Hip Hop Head's First Time Hearing Duality by Slipknot. Yeah. And I noticed very quickly that it became extremely popular. And it wasn't like an overnight. It wasn't like all of a sudden I got a million views on this video. The next day I woke up, it was a very slow progression. Yeah. But over the course of the next few weeks, I saw that Slipknot video growing. It was my first video to hit 50,000 views. It was my first video to hit 100,000 views. And it became one of my first videos to hit a million views. Um, and I kind of went down that rabbit hole and, and never really went back, right? I, I continued going down that hip hop heads first time hearing Iron Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth, Judas Priest, Slayer, Slipknot, Disturbed, right? And I, I really love that. Um, it's kind of funny though, because what I feel like happened is, is I almost pigeonholed myself where I, the only videos that do really well on my channel were reacting to metal for the first time. So now I've had that realization. And over the course of three, four years, what I've wanted to do is start branching out more, not only listening to different music to react to, but maybe doing some guitar progress videos or interviewing bands, something to keep the content fresh. So that's kind of how my reaction journey started. That's kind of how it developed, how I got into metal and kind of the direction I want to go um, now moving into the future. Yeah. Thank you. That's a mm -hmm. very good story. I hope I can uh, follow in your footsteps uh, some a little bit anyway. 
Uh, yeah. Have you ever gotten a gotten a you know a reaction from an artist that you have reacted to? Yeah. Um, and that's so cool because it like, I don't know. I literally just got goosebumps. I got a kid get goosebumps crazy, dude. But, um, it's, it, it's like, it comes full circle, right? Um, I'm, I'm creating these videos where I'm hearing these artists for the very first time where a lot of people, this is who they love. They know every, a lot of fans of my channel know everything about these bands. And I'll use Falling in Reverse as an example because Ronnie Radke has checked out numerous of my videos, numerous videos of mine. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I didn't know the first thing about Falling in Reverse. And you got people out there who are diehard Falling in Reverse fans that know everything and anything to know there is about Ronnie Radke and the band. Yeah. So seeing the band member or Ronnie check out my video, it's so humbling. And I'm like, holy shit, like the artist is aware of me. Like they know yeah. I'm alive. Yeah, I know. They are rock stars, you know, and uh, oh, we, are, dude. We, we are just uh, us. <laughs> right. so. I'm some tall, skinny, weird kid that's listening to music online. So yeah. to hear <laughs> artists being like, hey, man, you know, I, I love Alex. I think he's really cool. He's really nice. Like, I love the way he breaks it down. It's it's unreal. So a couple of those times, um, whenever I, you know, some Hef nerds, that's what I call my fan base because I'm nerdy myself. Yeah. Um reached out to me saying hey ronnie radke checked out your reaction of falling in reverse i was like no way so like i immediately went to go make a reaction and it's yeah. just so cool to see that like i said it's the full circle effect man yeah one of uh, the guy uh, one of the bands that i have uh, interviewed i i saw a, re a reaction from uh, what's his name uh, tank the tech do you know who that is yeah yeah he did a reaction to uh, a band and I also know the guys in the band a little bit uh, because I have yeah. had them on my show. So I sent uh, the link to one of the guys and uh, he, he immediately put out a, a you, know, you know, thank you. And, it's, uh, and, and I sent that to Tank and he was, whoa, thank you. It was, it was a really oh, cool. It's, it's crazy. I think the very first time it happened, um, it wasn't as crazy as like seeing the artist's reaction like their video but the first time that ever happened is i reacted to an iron maiden song yeah. and in my comments iron maiden left a comment where they were i forgot what they said they were like great reaction or or thank you for checking this out and i was like what <laughs> like i knew yeah. them i knew the magnitude of iron maiden even though i never really dove into their catalog at that time but i'm like holy shit iron maiden is aware that I am alive in the world, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, it's a great feeling. 100%. You, yeah. Uh, I was going to take a little check, a fact check on you. You're, are sure. you born, born in 93? 94. 94, okay. Yeah, because I did a little, you know, detective work on Google. Yeah. And uh, they said 94 on, on one place and 93 on the other. So, yeah. yeah. Because yep. I, I was going to say... Uh, because I'm a bit older, uh, uh, not a little bit, a bit, uh, 74. <laughs> but uh, I was going to tell you that 93, but you can say 94 also. Then I saw Metallica for the third time. Oh, wow. In my life. And I've seen them 17 times now. Oh, my gosh. So is that um, the most amount of live shows up? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, and also, you know, Slipknot has been opening for, for, for Metallica at some point. And I saw them, but at that time, I didn't like Slipknot that much. But, but today, I do. But yeah. uh, so I have seen them also. But uh, have why, you... why do you like them? I'm curious. Yeah, uh, at that time, I think they were a bit. You know, they were pretty new then, so it was a bit too noisy for me. At, yeah. Uh, in my in that time of my life but today right. i i really like noise <laughs> you yeah. know so but uh and uh you know i i can listen to anything even if even if i prefer you know the distorted guitars a little bit more Absolutely. than other stuff but uh i was gonna ask you are, are you hip-hop or metal now um have you uh, both 
yeah, both. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, to... you know, it's, it's so funny though, because, you know, I will always be a hip hop head at heart. Right. Um, yeah. I, I listen to metal every single day. And in my mind, I listen to more metal than I do hip hop and rap. Yeah. But my Spotify rap comes up every year and it shows that some of my top artists are rappers still. And I'm like, wow, yeah. that's, it's crazy. Um, yeah. And I think that people have such an inclination to categorize themselves by one genre of music. They say, I like rap and that's it, or I like metal and that's it. And I'm like, dude, I like fucking both of them. Like they're, they're fantastic. Um, but where we run into some issues is with like the clickbait and titles like that, where if I'm reacting to rap, I'll say metalhead reacts to this. And if I'm reacting to rap, uh, metal, I'll say hip hop head reacts to that. Yeah. So that, that rubs some people wrong. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I think that stems from a little bit of laziness being like, I don't know what the hell to title this video. So yeah, let's just go hip hop head reacts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't yeah. used that title while but people tend to get triggered about you being a fan of multiple genres it seems like which is dumb if you ask me but yeah yeah music is is a wonderful thing to gather around you know oh, 100 and then i mean the the real thing about it is it's so funny because it's a music is a spectrum right like yeah. um how would you categorize a band like from ashes to new or lincoln park where it's like they're rapping and it's rock slash metal yeah. like what is that is that <laughs> yeah listening I'm, to rap i'm sure metal? That, there are always uh, so many names on different genres but uh yeah for me it's yeah. it's a uh, it's a uh, good music you know and i don't care if it's new metal or doom metal or death metal or <laughs> trash metal or whatever so right uh, shoot man I'll listen to some i'll listen to some blues i'll listen to some jazz yeah. throw it on and i'll like any yeah. there's a certain situation for every type of music right yeah uh for me it's i like lyrics uh yes yeah. uh, and i i've seen some of your videos when you when you get your goosebumps uh, yeah I, i know the feeling sometimes you know uh, it's crazy you can have heard the song 100 times and every time you know that, that's that means something right yeah but now we're gonna go over to teaching you some swedish yeah okay here we go because yeah. i'm gonna be honest, i'm gonna i'm my i got a sailor's mouth like i have to i that's just how i naturally talk so to have some swedish words at my disposal to throw in yeah. there and not monetize yeah on. yeah i mean first of all fika you see the behind me fika yeah do you know what that means i want to say it's a curse word no no oh okay no i don't a, know in, in sweden that's a kind of a social institution you know you you, you have a coffee with a friend and uh, maybe a cinnamon bun that's uh, okay. having, you are having a fika that's uh, uh yeah. so uh, coffee coffee and a pastry yeah that's having a fika fika so, yeah so that's a uh, kind happy. Half of a fika because yeah. I got my coffee, but I don't yeah. have a patient. Me too. Nice. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. Uh, so, and uh, about the words for your reaction. Yes. Um, uh, these are kind of not filthy words, but it's cursing words in Swedish. Okay. Um, if if you want to say something like, uh, "God damn, this is this is good," you know. Yeah. Then you can say. Jävlar, vad bra. Jävlar, vad bra. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's hard. Uh, jävlar. Uh, jävlar. Jävlar. Vad. Vad. Bra. Dra. Bra. B, that's a B. Bra. B, A. Yeah, okay. jävlar, vad bra. That's a... <laughs> jävlar, vad bra. Yeah, blood. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> That's yeah, so but, hard. Yeah, you can check it out and practice later. <laughs> and uh, oh, there you are. No. Yeah. Okay. And another word. It's it's uh, it's it's a bit simpler. Helvete. One more time. Helvete. Helvete. Yeah. That's uh, if you 
translated directly to Swedish, it's uh, hell, you know. Helvete. Uh, yeah, helvete. That's, uh, helvete. You can say... You can say, what the hell vite is going yeah, on around here? Yeah, yeah. I like if, that. If, if I say it in Swedish, why i helvete håller på här? Ah, that's awesome. So, <laughs> so helvete, it's uh, helvete. pretty simple. This is cool, <laughs> I like this. Yeah, and also, the most famous Swedish thing, besides IKEA, uh, <laughs> uh, but they serve this at IKEA, it's uh, Swedish meatballs. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've tried them, but... Uh, I have. Yeah, but IKEA, so that's not uh, the real thing. Not- no. oh. But if you want to, if you ever come to Sweden and uh, want to order that, then you say yeah. svenska. Svenska. Köttbullar. Köttbullar. Yeah, very good. Nice. Yeah. So then you have a, a, a little bit. And also, I mean, I mean, you can say beer, for example. That's, okay. Uh, that's öl. Oil. Yeah. Simple. Nice. Kind of like, yeah, like ale, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's an, so it's... I think that, I think that, you know, the, the American tendency is to, is like a little bit uncouth. So I, I, I want to know the one filthy word. Do you, what's the Swedish word for the F word? That's what I want to know. Uh, the, uh, the four letter word, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you mean in its real content, or, or, or if you, you know, say, I mean, we can swear here, it doesn't matter. Well, like, so for, so for instance, like, if I'm really, like, blown away by something, the word that I say, I'm like, oh, fuck, like, that is okay. great. Yeah, uh, I think I would say, ah, helvete is, is, is a pretty good word. You know, if, yeah. I, if I translate fuck, to Swedish, it's uh, something you know. That's the. It means what it means. Uh, yeah. So. It, it, so but, it's a different word if you were to, like I, I don't know like uh, like threaten someone like I'm gonna fuck you up like is that a different <laughs> word or would you? Yeah, that's uh, how. Wait, I have to think about that. How. Uh, uh, maybe like. Uh, this is cool. Whole shafter. Whole shafter. Yeah. Whole. Oh, that's cool, dude. <laughs> Whole shafter, Simon. Whole shafter. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. It's a. <laughs> yeah. You. I mean, the English vocabulary is much bigger and better than the Swedish. So, I. I mean, I'm. Of course, I'm. I'm Swedish. My English isn't perfect, but uh, your, your I can... English is fantastic. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I can. Uh, I understand everything. So if, if I watch a movie, I prefer to not have, uh, you know, text on it. Right. Because, because the the Swedish destroys the movie. You know, mm-hmm. it doesn't. It, yeah. But is yeah. is English easy for you? Or is that a lot more difficult? What do you mean? I, I didn't hear you. Bro- you broke up. Is is reading English? Uh, no. Does that come easy or is that yeah, difficult? Yeah. No, no, that's no problem. Oh, nice. The problem is, I think uh, that I don't speak it that often. Yeah. You know, right? So it takes some time well, to give, uh, give me give me a call whenever, brother. We can chop it up. We can <laughs> yeah, sure, absolutely. I like it. Uh, and I was going to give you a little quiz. That's what I normally do. And, okay. uh, oh, God, I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and you can uh, win one of my fancy coffee cups. What? Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, it's, a, it's a Swedish Fika quiz winner. Oh, that's awesome. And if you're lucky, I have ordered a new style. Maybe I will send you that one instead. I haven't okay. gotten... Very cool. Yeah. yeah. So there will be seven songs. Only, oh, Swe- only, only Swedish bands. Uh, oh God! And uh, maybe you have, you have heard some of them. Maybe. Okay. And okay. Uh, and actually, actually, one of these I would like. I would love if you would do a reaction to this. I think you will gonna like it also the song. But okay. I will only play you the intro. All the songs have intros. But uh, okay. Uh, I'm so. 
this because I'm, <laughs> I should probably know the songs, but I don't think I'm going to. All right, no, let's go. Oh, no, all the bands are not. I don't know if they are even have, have toured in the States. I don't know. Oh, wow. So, so okay. may, some of them, I know one of them. You have not heard them. Uh, okay. But, uh, it's uh, they are the kind of smallest band of the, these guys, but oh, the oh first God. band, if you know the band or the song, you, that's a that's a plus point. I literally feel like I'm gonna have zero points, but yeah. okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we will try. I'm a nice guy, so I will send <laughs> you. I will send you a cup anyway. So, <laughs> My man. okay, here we here we go. Okay. right now <laughs> yeah uh, it, it's weird the intro sounds super familiar but as the vocals came in i was like no nah, maybe i haven't heard that have i heard this song no i think you maybe you have heard the singer uh because you, you have reacted to some choice? huh can you give me a multiple choice uh, uh i can say uh, the band he sang in before was amarante Oh shit! So, but this band is called Syra. It's a uh, oh yeah. I have not heard Syra. Yeah, they're pretty good. I think that yeah, that was great. I yeah. love the percussion right away. That was that was great. Yeah. Okay, take the next one. Okay. These guys oh, are a bit bit bigger, but uh. Okay. I know it's hard. remember that i don't think i've ever heard that song no. that's a band called soil work uh, oh soil work have i reacted to one of those before i don't know no i haven't soil no. work but i've seen what i have seen is like a lot of comments asking for for that band yeah you should, you should do it i have a they have a lot of amazing songs so soil. okay yeah. Is that one of the, that one of their most well known songs right there? Yeah, and uh, okay. the work got you. Yeah, it's also it has a Swedish title. The name of the song it's called Stor Fogel. I feel like I have had to have seen that. Do I not have that? Wow. No, I guess I don't. Yeah, that's Tra translated. That's Iron Bird, I think. Uh, so, but. 
but uh huh yeah you should check okay. them out yeah, yeah definitely okay take the next this band is the the least known band so i'm oh god 100 sure that you haven't heard them but, <laughs> but uh, they are they're good uh they are called mustache okay and the song is called libertra okay let's get it but it's a, it's a great song I like them so that's great you know what i really like about swedish bands is like they i mean not all of them but uh they just have such like a full body sound and they they come in really fast out of the gates and it's just like they, they have such like this powerful authority about them and i'm just like fuck man everything yeah. about bands yeah, the, I love. the funny thing about this playlist that i have made i, I didn't do it intentionally but sure. uh, i uh, all the bands are from uh, the same town. Oh, really? what town <laughs> is that? Uh, Gothenburg. Okay. Uh, well... And uh, that's the second biggest city in Sweden, though. And uh, maybe to what? Uh, Stockholm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Three more. Okay. This, this one, uh, you have to take this one. I, I'm sure oh, you God. will. Oh, God. Pressure on. <laughs> Have we done a reaction to this band? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a couple of them, I think. Not Opeth. No. No. In Flames. Hmm. I haven't. Fuck. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Elvite. Elvite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I knew this is going to be hard, man. This is tough. Yeah. In Flames is a great band. I haven't yeah. revisited in a while, but I really need to. I've, I've enjoyed everything I've heard from them. Yeah. They are, yeah, they are very good. So great. I will get back to In Flames in a bit. Okay. Uh, uh, this is another band, also kind of kind of connected with In Flames, with members, and, you know, past mem members of bands and like that. So okay. Also a very good band, in my opinion. I... 
Huh? You have? Have I read this band, right? No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh? I don't know. Wow. That's a band called Engel. Engel. Yeah. The Condemned is the name of the I song. Love, I I love the combination of the heaviness and the melodic aspect. I yeah. that's one of my things in metal. They have that. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, I like it as well. It's a good description of exactly exactly what I like. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a big fan of Killswitch Engage. Yes, uh, and, and they are. That was the first video I saw when you, when you reacted to the signal oh, really? fire. Yeah, yeah. The, that's you got me hooked after that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and also I, I know a couple of the guys in that band. So oh, cool. Yeah. So, but now the last one. This is the the song that I would really like if you would do a reaction to. They, uh, I think you're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm only gonna play. You know, a little bit of it. So okay. you don't. You don't. Serve the reaction. Yeah. Uh, and this and this band is called the Halo Effect. Okay. Uh, and the members are all, all of them are ex in flames members. No, yeah, really, yeah. So, everybody in this band has been in, in the flames. Uh, okay, uh, the singer who was on the first in flames record, okay, uh, and he is singing in a, a band called Dark Tranquility. I don't know if you know, yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah. Of it. So, that's the singer, and also the two guitar players are. X in Flames, bass player is X in Flames, okay. and the drummer. <clears throat> this is uh, probably my favorite band for the moment. They have only re released one song uh, yet. Wow. And I have also interviewed one of the guitar players on my show. So, yeah. a bit biased here, but I, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But they are, they are releasing a single in a week, I think. So. Oh, good. But this song, uh, it's it's really good. It sounds pretty much like In Flames, but uh, old In Flames. And, and say. the band, the band name is what again? The Halo Effect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. This is the song that Tank reacted to, also. <laughs> and he was going crazy. That's a, it's a really, really good band in my yeah. I think I uh, in flames organization is really kicking themselves. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, Dude, that's uh, so cool. Yeah. And uh, I think 
they are going on tour with uh, uh, Machine Head and uh, yeah. and uh, gonna, and another band. Huh? That's going to be a crazy show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I hope it will be a bit, so the COVID doesn't stop them. But uh, uh, all right. Yeah, you never know. I- I told you with these songs, you're setting me up for failure. I was going to get zero of them. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, but I will send you this anyway, so. Yes, or, definitely. Uh, and I can, use, I will send you a t-shirt, t-shirt also. Really? Seriously? Yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll definitely, yeah. definitely check in, um, checking out that band, and I'll be sporting the t-shirt in some videos, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah that would be very nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? Have we talked enough for today, or do you have? Oh, any... it's totally up, man. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I am not. Don't have any plans. I'm just editing videos today. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Want to take him on? But we we can uh, maybe we can do it again in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. A, I had a really really great time. Yeah. I will teach you some more Swedish uh, next Please. time. <laughs> El pete, el pete. Yeah. Uh, and also you need to start using this that's also very swedish um uh, snooze snuff oh yeah yeah it's i don't know if it's uh i think it's available in the states but uh yeah not so for your lip right yeah yeah you put it on your lip yeah it's tobacco so Dude, I just want to say thank you so much. It's been such an honor, like such a good conversation. You're uh, great questions, great energy. I, yeah. I, I think the dynamic going, I'd, li- I'd like to do this again, man. Yeah. If there's sure. a way I can provide value to you, brother, let me yeah. know. I'm here to yeah. help. Yeah, you can help me any way you can. I, I, if, I think, I think you, know, you, know, you know it better than, than I do how to. I got so, you, brother. Give me some tips. That's For sure. So thank you very much. Absolutely, man. I'm happy to do it. We'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, I will. Bye. One man. (laughs) Alvete! Alvete!